for the first pitch of the day against Jada Coleman. And it's in there for strike one. Those close misses. The 3-1 misses inside as well, and Coleman will start with a walk. Both teams perfect thus far in the Getterman Classic. Chopper right back to Orm. She's going to try and turn two. Out at second, but safe at first. They get the lead runner. Orm with her 15th delivery of the opening inning. Misses outside, ball four. Right back up the middle, stabbed, but no throw available for Tovin, and the bases are loaded. The 30th pitch of the inning to second. In time to first, and despite an awful lot of action on the base paths, Dari Orm through the opening half inning, scoreless. Let's give her a moment to catch herself, and Strain's going to draw a walk here. We're in. Slots in as the starting shortstop, drops down the bunt. Well played at third by Brito, but that does advance the runner and strain up to second. Swung on and missed, strike three, and Jordy Ball retires the side. The one-two from Orm. On the outside corner of the plate, strike three. You know the battle's going to be against you. Swung on and hit hard to straightaway center field, going back on it, bouncing off the glove of Wilson. Rounding second is Torres. She'll slide in safe to third. Elena Torres. Coleman sends it to short, right through the legs of Tobin and home to score is Torres. That is not something that you see typically from the, the middle infield here at Baylor. Tovin, who did so much at Arizona last year, gets herself over there in a position to make a play, but. Over the head of Tovin, into left field, two runners on. Cross on the error. This one chopped to short. This time, Tobin's on top of it, and that'll retire the side. The 3-2. That misses as well, and Binford's on with a leadoff walk. Team, too. You know they practice that in practice, and this isn't the first time they've seen it. Big swing and a miss from Anna Watson. Zone. Chopped right back to the pitcher. Ball to first in time. The 0-1 to Brito slapped right back up the middle for a base hit. With the exception of that one right there, these Oklahoma Harris hasn't hit anything really hard. The 0-1 chop to Tovin. In time to first. And Orm with a 1-2, uh, beg your pardon. This team. That one slapped up the middle for a base hit. The first of the day for the Baylor Bears. Now for Wilson. She'll look to drop down the bunt. Again, Brito on top of it. This time bobbled it, though, and safe at first is Mackenzie Wilson. Around to third goes Pylon. 0-2 count, though, here from Ball. Swung on and missed, strike three. The third swinging strikeout of the day for Jordy Ball. On a sacrifice in the first. This one right up the middle. That'll score at least a run. Home is Pylon, holding at third is Wilson, but Baylor's tied the game on an RBI single from Amber Tovin. It's a great piece of hitting right there. Like, again, goes down and gets that ball. That's not a bad strike. That's not a great pitch to be hitting either, but just a great piece of hitting. By the game, runners on the corners here. 1-1 one, one delivery, swung on and hit hard down the line and left. That is gone. A three-run blast from Shaylin Gavan, and Baylor's got a 4-1 lead. What a hit, but what an at-bat. Just complete composure by Gavan right there. And you know she got called on that strike. First pitch swinging, um, but she waited again for a good one to come. She takes that low pitch in the zone and just gets all of it. Been saying it all game, you don't have to do too much with it, uh, but you just got to get a bat on the ball, and you can see her excitement there. She tossed the bat <laughs> as a team this season. 
Now that one on a line right to Jennings and caught for out number two. The 2-2 two -two from Ball. Swung on and missed, strike three. And Oklahoma is out of the inning. Orm with the payoff pitch to Boone. Swung on, slapped right back up the middle for a single for Boone. Here trying to add to their base runner tally. That's in there for strike three looking. Orm has that one chopped to the left and that'll go in for a single for Jennings. Two on now with two outs for Oklahoma. Side as well. This one hit right at Binford but caught it aligned to end the inning. That's why they call it the hot corner. Wow. The line out to Binford to end the threat. Watson leading off here for Baylor in the bottom of the fourth. Strike three outside corner of the plate. The one-two swinging strikeout of Presley Pylon. And one, two, three in order go the Bears here in the bottom half of the fourth. Now faces the one-two. That got her for strike three. Defending national champs in a 4-1 hole. This one chopped to short. Tovin across the diamond in time, and it's a 1-2-3 inning for Aliyah Binford. 1-1 to Wilson, slapped into left, right on the line, though, to Boone, caught on the run, and there's one away. The 0-2, swung on and lined into right, but again, right at Torres to end the inning. A 1-2-3 frame for Jordy Ball. There's strike three. I was just foretelling the future. <laughs> Oklahoma State, but this is not a team that is used to losing softball games. They do get the one-out walk here from Torres to put a runner on for Riley Boone. Homestanding Baylor Bears up 4-1, but that one's lined down the line and left. That'll go down for a base hit. Two runners on, and the top of the order for Oklahoma coming to the plate as Boone singles into right. The 2-0 from Binford. Swung on and hit into center field, chasing away from Wilson. Down and against the wall. Two, uh, one run's going to come around home to score. They're going to hold the runner at third, but Oklahoma's on the board here in the top of the sixth. Well, and that is what Oklahoma does best. They don't put too much pressure on themselves, but they wait for that good pitch. She got all of that one, hit it solid. And then just incredible base running right there. She had to wait to make sure it wasn't caught, but just the speed there, even from a pinch runner. Nine home runs a year ago. The 2-2 chopped to shortstop. Out at first, but a run comes home to score, and the lead is down to one as Boone comes home to the plate. Not exactly what Jennings wanted to do, but you know what? That's an RBI. Yeah, just completely mishits that ball. Third, the one-two, swung on and chopped to short. Tovin up with it across the diamond. Baylor gives up two in the top half of the sixth. And hits it on a line on the very first pitch of the inning into right field for a single. Look at her just conquering both sides of the field. I mean. High and tight and hit her on the elbow. flexibility and talent. Collazos with the chopper right back to ball. Over to first in time. And that will retire the side here in the bottom half of the sixth. Three outs away are the Baylor Bears from a big upset. Start firing this down. The freshman chops it right to Tovin on the line. There's one out. And two. Another offering from Binford. Swung on, popped right into the waiting glove of Tobin, and there's two away. The 3-2, swung on and popped into center field. Underneath it is Wilson, out number three, and the Baylor Bears with a 4-3 win over the number one team in the country. The Bears take down Oklahoma.